Well, for this story, we won um, the 2014 um, Rising Star Award, and it's basically a story about this guy who's been hiding his powers from the world. He's basically like Superman. But notice that they're still continuously numbered in sequential order. And again, this helps your artist and your letterer know who's talking and where to place the balloon, right? Albert, Bob, and I kind of connect through the fiction writing department at Columbia College, Chicago. Where, so we found Albert, I found him on an alumni uh, Facebook group, right? When yep. I was asking uh, if somebody could help me connect one of our Gear Up teams who had written a comic book to an artist, and he stepped right up. Uh, and then we got his name on the list that for the Shy Team Lit Fest, the, the teens vet all the applications. So a group of teens checked out your website, and they decided you are worthy, Mr. Oh, wow. Hall. Um, I feel so angry. Yeah, so, I didn't know that. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Yeah, it is. So, uh, I guess my first question is, what made you um, accept their invitation to, uh, for, to be a headliner at the Shai Team Lit Fest this year? Uh, I did the workshop last year and had so much fun just sitting around and talking to these teams. And um, and when I was asked to do the Shai Team Lit Fest, I was like, yes, yes, definitely would do it because I had such a good time last time with just a small room of kids. I just thought, man, this would be awesome. So you're from, where'd you grow up in Chicago? I grew up on the west side of Chicago on Costner and Congress in what the streets called K-Town. Yeah, um, all the streets don't start with K. Yeah. yeah. At the time, I had a mentor who um, wanted me to, um, she started telling me about the school called Columbia, um, Columbia College of Chicago. And she's like, damn, this writing program, you should go. And I kept thinking, Ah, I'm not going to school. I can't afford school. Who my family? Nobody in my family is going to college. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the Marines. I'm going to go into the armed service. It was a, um, by a um, counselor at Manly that um, she she didn't she worked for another organization very much like the mm -hmm. And every time she saw me in the hall, she would just ask me. She's like, hey, there's a school in Columbia. You should write something. You should write something. She's like, I and she's like, every time I see you, you're writing something. She's like, I always hear people talking about your writing, but I never get to hear any of your writing. Did you enter that team writing contest at Columbia? It was a yeah, it was a team writing contest. I founded that contest. Oh really? Yeah, you know, <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, and um, and you won the contest. Yep. So you earned a scholarship to um, the um, the team writing class. Yep. Well, what was really cool is that I got tuition to go to Columbia for the summer. Because they have this really cool summer program where they bring all these kids from all these high schools around the country to come to Columbia for the summer. So I was like, all right, yeah, okay. I'll go take these classes for the summer, but I'm letting y'all know I'm still going to the Marines after this. Well, I took this class, this writing class, and every these kids, they were from all over the country, especially here in New York. They were from like big, rich counties and, and cities. And I'm like, this little poor kid from the hood. And after that, I thought, you know, I want to get better. I want to be a better writer. Because they were telling some phenomenal stories. But they weren't telling the stories like I was telling them. And I thought, I want to be better. I want to be better than them. I have to be better. So I decided, I'm not going to be a Marine. I'm going to college. And I don't know how I'm getting there, but I'm going. But the reason I'm here is because I'm hoping that um, my story and, and things I'm talking about really reaches, if it reaches one kid, that's what I was telling um, um, Griselda is that I had a teacher um, when I was in high school and um, we got introduced to Macbeth and Othello and I love both of those. And one of my teacher her name was Miss Hammersley at the time. She um, she went against the curriculum and uh, and what I loved about her is that she allowed me, um, we had to do like a report on Macbeth and um, she allowed me to write my report the way I wanted, envisioned writing it, which was, um, I was really, into like movies like The Godfather and stuff. So I wanted to write this gangster version of Macbeth. And she allowed me to write this gangster version of Macbeth. And so I thought um, me coming in and talking to students, if they can see me, then maybe they can see themselves looking past their freshman and past their, their, uh, their um, senior. Because I know when I was a freshman, all I could see was what was in front of me, what was around me. And, and sometimes that was just doom and gloom. I just remember there were so many different people then when I look back, they really helped me. And I didn't even realize they were helping me, even if there was just a word of advice. And so I'm just hoping that the stories that I'm telling, I'm, I'm hoping if it reaches one kid in this class, they go, you know what, I do like stories, yeah. Maybe I want to be a writer because 
So writing has been like your sword, right? Yeah, and yeah, even before you, I even knew it. You, you slash your way, you open the doors, and you make, you built your life around your love of reading and writing. Yeah. And you were excited to come show kids what, what a, what a, Profoundly professional, dedicated reader and writer looks like. And yeah, like, yeah, and, and that's my thing that I'm trying to get. I just, that's what I feel like. If I'm, if I'm talking to these kids in this class, if they can relate, they can see that you know I come from a tough neighborhood, and I came from literally you know from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. Then if they can see that, maybe they they'll see the same thing. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, family.